Hi, Hiram here. Today I'm going to do two burn tests on this Bushcraft Essentials Outdoor Pocket Micro Stove EDC box. I'm going to do two burns, one with 17HMR Sniper's Axe Can Mini Stove, and then another one with just an axe can, see if I can get it in here, an axe can that's been stuffed with carbon felt. Let me light this one first. Turn out the light. Now I'm not sure, not this isn't a diss on the the stove acting as a burner now, but I'm not sure how well this is going to work here. Although now looking at it, I had said before that I thought maybe the sides of this stove might kind of hold in the flames, but these holes that are on it all the way around are at about the right height that maybe the flames will come out through them. And here we go with the jets lit. Yep, and that's what it's doing. They're coming out through these holes. So that's a nice little flame. I'll do a side-by-side -side on this too after I've done this. But uh, that's not bad. Put a small pot on there, a cup, and we'll probably be able to go to town. Hmm. Hopefully it'll show up on the camera, but the front of the, uh, the Bush Essentials stove is getting all red here. It's getting red hot on that small area. Not so much the rest of the stove, but just that small crossbar is really heating up. Okay, I'm going to put this out, let it cool off so I can take the top part off without burning my hands. And I'll put in the axe, axe can with the carbon felt in it, and we'll see how they compare. Okay, I've swapped out 17 HMR Sniper's little stove. And I put that axe can stuffed with carbon felt in there, put some alcohol in. Now the one thing right off the top is this would be able to hold more alcohol than a jetted stove would be. You always have to be careful with this and keep the alcohol down from the level of the jets so that the, as the alcohol heats up and expands it doesn't get squirted out through that. You don't have that problem a lot with the carbon felt. Let's light this. Turn out the light. Now with the carbon felt it's pretty much just all coming up through the center of the stove. I don't think this will be coming out through the same holes that uh, 17 HMR Sniper's stove did. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with this it'll just come up through the center and hit the middle of the bottom of whatever pot you have on there. Again, I'm not dissing Sniper's stove. I'm just saying that that one will be able to hold more alcohol than this will. But there were some nice flames coming off this. I guess the next video will be doing some boil tests and see how these compare. What I'll do now is break away and show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the two flames. On the left you have 17 HMR Sniper's stove. It's just starting to light up. On the right is my axe can with the carbon felt in it. You can see that I forgot to reload it so it's starting to run out of alcohol. That's what the glowing on the carbon felt tells you. But nice flame on Sniper's stove there. Really nice. The sounds you hear are from his stove. I think you can see on that one the crossbar is starting to heat up because of how his jets are coming out and hitting that area. So that's a comparison. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.